Okay, so let's uh, talk about checking this. Um, I Once I'm done, I want to check a couple of things. Um, one, I want to look in the one of the side views and make sure that my the bottom of that blue line isn't coming inordinately far out of my stock. Uh, here it's coming out, you know, that two hundredths of an inch um, that I put in there, so that's fine. But if I saw one of these things, you know, way down here, a half inch below, that would be trouble because you would start cutting into our table, which we do not want. Um, also, you want to um, try to cut the smallest stuff first so that you are going to you have the biggest stock that's going to get help hold it down um, left uh, as you can so um, <clears throat> we can also look here on the side and see we've got three steps divides it into three because you'd think there would be two because our material is a half inch, but um, we put that extra two hundredths of an inch in there, so it has to do it in three passes because we're really cutting 0.52 instead of 0.5, which is over <coughs> a quarter of an inch, which is our maximum depth. And we can check this by going to the Simulate tab, and this is what you always um, want to do before you uh, machine anything, select your um, machining operation set, and here you can press play for simulate. And it will go through and make all your cuts in the order that it would, and simulating the bit that is in there, and then uh, it will do that and so you can uh, then you can view and make sure it's cutting all the way through and everything looks right um, which it does here now uh, you can also change the speed of the playback here if you have a really long um, job you might want to speed that up and uh, we hit play, and at top speed it goes pretty fast, so it's a little bit harder to see what's going on. Um, if you really want to see what's going on, you can change that speed to really slow, and uh, and see. Highlighting the operation in the mop set will give you. Um, will show you just what's being cut there and uh, or highlighting the whole mop set will show you do the whole thing oops okay <clears throat> so everything looks good we're cutting on the top surface we're going all the way through but not too far um, the next thing uh, I'm can want to do is check and see how long this is going to take to cut. So if I right click on the mop set, I can go to information and I can see that this is going to cut take about three minutes. Um, this is a rough estimate. You won't know um, how long it's going to take exactly until you get it into the router software. Um, generally these times are uh, short. So this will, I'm sure, end up taking a little bit longer than three minutes. Um, and depending on how much longer, how much, how long your job is, that can significantly change. You know, if you have a three hour job, it could end up being four hours once you get it into the machine. But this will at least give you an idea um, of what it's going to take. All right. So, we'll hit OK. So that all seems good. Next step would be to post your file. 
um, and you want to save that uh, in a folder um, that's on the desktop that says that is called CNC post and inside that folder there's another folder to do and that's where you want to save it I'm not on one of those machines now so I'm just going to save it to the desktop you want to um, change the name so it follows our naming convention um, with your net ID first and then the name of your file um, whatever and then hit post then notepad will open up your file and that you can look at the G code um, you know what this is is a series of lines with um, X and Y coordinates so you can kind of X Y and Z coordinates so you can kind of you know try to follow it if you want but you can also just close it so now we're ready to open that up in our um, router software which uh, we'll get to on another uh, tutorial all right thanks and uh, tune back in for the pocketing video okay